Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Kara here. We're back with season four, episode seven of our weekly Q and A and T. As always, a huge thanks to our patron Alberto Junior Camarillo for supporting us on Patreon at the last word tier. That's mm -hmm. the highest tier. Yeah. Uh, because he's the the highest tier fan. Yeah. He's the best person. <laughs> he is our best. He is nominally, uh, I guess, nominally our best fan. I'm gonna say it here. He is also the best person officially. <laughs> okay. Um, our first question comes from Algernon Papadopoulos. I, I Papadopoulos. Can't. Papadopoulos. See, I that I, wasn't intentional. You weren't making fun of his name. You were actually trying. No, to, there's so many. Syllables there's a lot of it. syllables in it, and I I, I choked. Uh, so have you, have you been drinking? No. Okay. Uh, so they're they they have a comment. And they say, how to duplicate a count on iOS. So we're not going to read through all the instructions. There's a, there's a huge set of instructions here. Well, not huge. There's a right. pretty big set of instructions. So I want to talk about this, actually, because it's come up a few times. And it's come up in different contexts. The idea that you can duplicate count. And you can. It's not just on iOS. You can duplicate an account on Android. And we know how it's supposed to work. There's a reason we haven't gone over it. And for a couple of really good reasons. First, a lot of people are using it specifically as a tool after their account gets suspended. Mm. And uh, honestly, it doesn't work for that. A suspended account is marked, and then when you try to duplicate that account, the new account gets suspended again. And it might take a day or two for you to be notified that it's yeah. suspended, but it is, uh, dare I say it, inevitable. It just happens. So the l lag makes it harder to recognize that the, the gap in it's not contemporaneous, so it doesn't happen at the same time, so it makes it harder to realize, oh, yeah, it's just banned every time no matter what. And people just try to pr uh, troubleshoot and say, well, I did this and this, and the, you can drive yourself crazy doing that. Once it's been banned, you duplicate it, it's going to be banned forever. And there's, no and there's nothing you can do about that. Right, and that's the first part. But the second part, why it's not that useful is, accounts are obviously marked in some way, even when they aren't suspended. And... We know this because we've experimented with the technique of uh, duplicate accounts, and we've done it, but if you're switching in between an account and its duplicate, no matter how different they are in their progress, um, so, you know, different credits, different number of characters, different characters, different gear cards, whatever. Yeah. When you switch, when you log out of one and into the other, you don't get the message with Superman holding up his hand like asking... Like a crossing guard. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, halt. Yeah. Um, you don't get the message with him holding up his hand asking if you want to switch accounts because the game recognizes them in some fundamental way as the same account. Yeah, and we don't know exactly why. But yeah, and I mean, it can behave a bunch of different ways. In my mind, I always feel like it's it, the account's marked in a way where like it's like when you play with Pokemon, right? Yeah. And when you trade Pokemon, it tags each Pokemon with the original trainer name that you give it, but also uh, a specific ID number. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, there might be some data file somewhere in the game that you could change. There might be some way to hack it, but at that point... I don't even know how you'd go about finding something like that. I mean, if, you, if you're that good at hacking, I, I think... You can maybe, probably make a new account. It'd probably be easier to do that. I mean, it's, it'd be an interesting problem to try to solve. But it basically means that if you switch between the account and its duplicate, you, you can run into the same problem that we talked about years ago. What We called it account bleeding, yeah. where you get errors in the game because it's trying to, to reconcile differences between them, even though it feels like it's the same thing. And, and that's actually... I mean, it's a real problem. It's not something just theoretical because stuff happens. But yeah. the theoretical problem is if you're using account duplicates and if you're not starting out with a banned account, but you're duplicating one that's not banned and you're playing around with all of them, it would be really easy for Warner Brother to ban every other account that was duplicated from. So, so if it recognized one thing as being banned, yeah, they haven't done it yet as far as I know, but it would be, in my mind, it would be kind of easy to say, okay, once this account's been marked, any other account that's marked the same way, ban that too, because the only way that it can be marked the same way is because of account duplication. Mm -hmm. um, and in my mind, that's something that's too risky to try. At least it is for us. I mean, I'm sure lots of people do lots of other things, like running around with scissors and stuff. That's just not for me. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, and so that's basically the long explanation of why we're not going to an explanation for how to do it, because it's something that we don't really recommend. The few times that we actually show a glitch that we actively discourage people from doing is when it's so obvious, like using uh, the credit glitch or last laugh ticket glitch in uh, multiplayer, right? Like, yeah, because it's any fight, so people are going to try it on multiplayer. Right, so we want to show it to show you that we recognize why we're 
why what happens with it and why we don't recommend yeah, it. Yeah, the dangers of it. Or it's something that's already so widespread. Like way back when, there was years ago when we first started our, our channel, there was somebody, it was called the death glitch, right? And it was basically an overselling glitch. Where you could lose a character forever. Yeah, and that was more than three years ago. And we, I mean, we ended up revisiting after we posted the video, basically to use it a different way that was not as dangerous yeah but it was there already so it's not like we were sharing anything or it's showing people something in both cases i guess it's not like we're showing some something that people either don't know or wouldn't be very likely to try on their own yeah so in general we try to avoid things that are that are dangerous um and you know showing the duplicate count doesn't really fit any one of those for anybody who's thinking oh show us how to do it um and uh, uh, sort of related to that is something that another viewer, Razor Terminator, mentioned that even when an account is suspended, when you back out of the suspension message, you momentarily see your team with the record and those options at the bottom, like um, choose your opponents, leaderboard, yeah. that kind of stuff. And if you're quick enough on that page, you can click on select opponents and get to play MP with that account. Mm. But, and, and you know, that's sort something. of interesting. But the problem with that is it's not very practical because. Uh, one, you can't change any of your characters or the gears that they're carrying. Yeah. And two, you only get one fight because after you, you finish the fight and it tries to access the server again, what it tells you is it's some, some I think it's connection error. Yeah. And then it boots you back out again. So best you get to play one fight. It's with the same team all the time. You don't really get any credit for the stuff and you're not getting rewards. At least on Android, that's true. Which sucks. And even worse than that, it won't save your progress. So at the point where you your account is suspended, the server stops updating it so that's where you run into real problems if you ever get suspended and you even if you want to play offline it means that the, the you counts. can never uninstall it basically without yeah. losing everything after the day you were suspended although maybe if you use a third party save like helium that's true i guess you could uninstall it after you saved it and then reinstall it and then sort of bring back that save but it's still it it, it ain't a great way to play yeah uh our next question comes from raheem franklin and they say when y'all giving out free accounts, y'all should put them in the link too. I appreciate the use of y'all here as you plural. Yeah. It is uh it's a useful kind of denoter of a word. Second plural. person plural? Yeah. Yeah, cuz it's one of the few words what sec first person, sorry, second uh, plural and singular is both the same form. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, it's more useful. I think it gets some flack. I think y'all has some connotations, but I think it oh, really culturally, is. culturally, yeah, but it's yeah. very functional. I, yeah, it's useful. I think it's useful. This is totally an appropriate use of it. I think people really should use it. Well, especially as pronouns change, right? Because for the longest time, they was not an acceptable pronoun for a uh, third person singular. We wanted to avoid sort of gender, like a binary kind of gender yeah. distinction. But uh, Ursula Gwynn actually, oh, I wish I pulled that up before she made a really good argument for yeah. why she recognizes people don't use it but also why she specifically does rest in peace Ursula Le Guin she passed away very recently I love her she did she wrote excellent books and and the world is going to be a darker place without her okay so okay, we've so gotten I'm... very far away from the okay, so was my point. But, oh oh uh, okay so when y'all giving out free accounts y'all should put them in the link right, too so this is the tea part right I'm yeah. talking so where he was uh where this comment was where their comment was, was on the summary of update 2.18. And it's funny for a couple of reasons, because one, we haven't given away accounts since uh, when we had, I think, 1 million views, and we celebrated that years and years ago. Yeah, we've given away exactly one account. Yes. And, and, it was and we're a real at 5 million views now. Yes, and it was a real account. Yeah. It's not like one of those things where you just, you know, do like a hacked account or that whatever. That was a long time. It was a long time, because we were actually giving away one of this, because at, at some point, it's hard to just keep on supporting numerous accounts yeah. and actually maintaining the content on all of them yeah but it brings back to the previous question where the here's the thing the issue with giving out accounts so either you give out a real account which takes you hours and hours of work like tens hundreds of hours tons of time for any significant amount of right. progress i mean we it. could give away a free account that's got three bronze characters but i th don't think that's what people want yeah so then you <laughs> <laughs> you could do an account giveaway that's just the default account um yeah that would actually be pretty funny it would actually but then it goes back to the previous question where so if you're not going to do that but you're actually duplicating accounts and giving that away what you're running the danger of is that if somebody plays with that duplicate account and it gets banned it's again I, i'm not sure that it's happened yet but there's a theoretical risk that because we know that those accounts are marked same way some some way the same way 
as where its origin is, right? It's like that little branch of evolution. Yeah. Then you can go back and ban everything that has that mark. Pretty, I think pretty easily Warner Brothers yeah. can do that. And that's not the kind of risk that we actually want to take. Man, okay, I, I kind of want to give out a, an account <laughs> that's just bronze. It's an account giveaway. <laughs> But what would be so special about it? I guess it's nothing. It's not absolutely even, nothing. Because even at least if it were say like Pokemon, we would have a distinct ID number. We could name it like it's the, a sat. The it's a BDCPR. satire of account giveaways. It it's a. Be. It's all a joke. It's a big prank. All right. So, but this is the other thing too, right? Like when you think about account giveaways, a lot of channels that are trying to drum up business will do that. Yeah. And I'm not sure how successful it is because we, where we see it is channels that are, are not very popular. And I wonder if we actually, I mean, if I watch YouTube more, I'd probably have an idea, but th whether they actually are able to build a sustainable audience. My guess would be no. Yeah, because I think it's funny, right? Because they're actually, to, in my mind, a good one is really valuable, but it becomes devalued when people give just, it away. When they give it away. Because the hours of work that you put on, in my mind, if you want, like, if it's a really good account that's legitimate, that has the ability to play MP without any risk. Yeah. Really, it should be like a few hundred dollars. Probably. But I that's how much it should be worth, whether people are willing to pay that or not. I don't think that's anybody's true. willing to pay a few hundred dollars for it. But if, if you think about even hourly, that's actually a pretty bad hourly rate for the work that it t would take. Yeah, see, but here's the thing. If you're enjoying what you're doing, then it sort of mitigates that, right? Like, that's nope, true. People pay me zero dollars to watch TV. But I'm still willing to do you, it. You choose to do it, yeah. But if somebody were willing to pay me a quarter, I'd still think that was a pretty good deal as long as it was wasn't like crappy TV. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Install this update later. <laughs> yeah. Not now. Yeah. So this is the problem with having a rooted device where it wants to do the installation, and you touch accidentally install at one point, that it keeps on doing that every day. Yeah. Um, which is unfortunate. So our next question comes from Ashik Adnan, and they say, I got a question. So should I keep buying booster packs and get gold cards, golden challenge pack, or should I save money and get Arkham Origins Batman first, or should I save a lot and buy a most wanted pack? All right, so this is interesting because we get asked this kind of question a lot, and one of the important things about actually answering is getting an idea of where your progress is. Yeah. And I, mean, I, mean, I can make inferences about where your progress is based on your question, Ashik, but... It, the implication for most people is that you're looking to build up a really good team and be competitive at the higher levels, specifically, I think, online play to get yeah. the battle points so you can get the exclusives, right? Because those are the sort of the hardest things that you can get in Injustice, yeah. right? So, and we've done this, if you look in the comments, you can search pretty easily when we talk about gold equivalents and we're going to get into that a little bit too. And if you really want the detail, I can cut, uh, I, I could probably cut and paste the 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 answer we've given in general yeah. which is a lot broader that covers a lot of things but i think i want to talk maybe a little bit about sort of the general approach and we can get in the nitty gritty details in the description right you want to be able to get to your maximum kind of credit generation the fastest yeah because everything ultimately everything that unless you want to pay for it, everything ultimately ties into generating credits so at the beginning you want to sit. You don't want to spend it as fast as you can because you, if you, the cheapest stuff isn't going to make your progress very fast. It's not going to speed you up much because you already start out with bronzes. Right. So, and you could get like you know elite seven bronzes, but yeah. it's still there's a, a a really hard ceiling where you hit. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is get to uh, a gold team where each team has what I like to call gold equivalents. So you have at least like a. Uh, three gold equivalent uh, team. So either it's three E0 gold, uh, maybe an E2 gold and two whatevers, yeah. or maybe an E1, two E1 golds. That would be four equivalents. An E1 gold and an E0 gold and something else. Yeah. And that can push you really high to maybe not bonus battle six, which tends to be the best um, power credit sort of uh, output for the number of fights you do. Yeah, so in general, that's your that's your final single player goal. So you're going to start out maybe buy a couple bronzes just to make enough teams that that you don't have to stop playing um when when you still sit down to play. And then you want to get some silvers, um just enough till you've got like I don't know, maybe 2, 3. You don't yeah. need that many. And then you get your first gold and then you work kind of work up from there. And so if you're still on that kind of train to bonus battle 6, if you currently have enough golds, 
that you don't have to stop playing with golds before right. you put the game down yep. um, for your energy to recharge then you want to get enough gold so you're at that point and then at that point you probably want to start looking at uh getting a specific team right. together so that that's a good point actually about not having to recharge so maybe three maybe four teams that have three gold equivalents or better on each one yeah lets you easily finish the challenge when they sh challenges when they show up because that's your best source of a, a good strong challenge character yeah and it get lets you grind for gold and that speeds it up. And then your next step, that's with just getting the daily discount gold pack. Yeah. Then you go for the um, a specific team. Right now, the Femme Fatale pack came back in. That is, in my mind, probably the best team card. Because what you want to do is direct promote a team to Elite 5 or Elite 7. The mm. cheapest way to do that is through a targeted pack where you get the same three characters over and over again. Not all of them are create equivalent. Some of them are really expensive, and some of them are not. Challenge pack at this point, if you're thinking about getting somebody high, is probably not the best for you, because it, it there's so many challenge pack characters, it'll be hard to actually get somebody somebody good. Yeah. There's a step after getting like a bunch of golds that maybe aren't so far elited on the same team, is to get one team really good. When you get them really good, then you can split them up. So once you get them to yeah. level 50, elite seven or elite five, for hard fights, you put them all together, and for everything else, you split them up one per team, and you can make yep. almost three full teams just from yep. just from one dude, especially in single player. So we saw Batgirl, who's one of the members of Femme Fatale right here. You get Wonder Woman 600, you get animated Harley Quinn. They generate, I think that's right, right? They generate a huge amount of power. Yeah. They do a lot of bonus damage. Excellent, excellent team. Great synergy. And it's reasonably priced. I think it's like 400,000, somewhere around 400,000 credits for three characters. Yeah. Now, the what changes things recently is that the challenge characters, the the recent ones, are higher stat, and they're worth a lot more. So that you're getting a better deal for the cost, like hundred fifty thousand yeah. credits. But I I don't think I would go directly promoting Arkham Origins Batman because later on when you have more credits, you're probably going to want to buy the Arkham pack, and he's going to be one of the potential drops. And if you pay for him directly, you'll not get much value back when you sell them yeah so that that's basically the principle i mean we can talk a little bit about what we first did we we had maybe three golds four golds yeah and we decided to save up for the red sun pack oh that's when it was really good where it was specifically superman wonder woman and solomon grundy and those were also like hands down the best characters in the game and the best combo in the game yeah at the time they there was nobody better because the synergy from their passes was so good yeah and i think that was a good decision uh even though we didn't have that many golds now i would probably have bought one or two golds first yeah um got, just gotten a little bit more but the idea is it's all centered around how much you play in a day yeah. if you if you play a lot in a day you want um as many golds that you can basically just cycle through your golds and then by the time you're finished playing with your last team uh yeah. your first team has their energy back and that's definitely enough right yeah. um we we're at that point now uh but uh we weren't for a very long time but um when you're at the point where if you only play for like 20 minutes yeah. you might only need one full gold equivalent team before you start saving up because right. you you don't actually need right. anything else because yeah. there's no point in having a second team that you're not going to play if they're worse than your first team Yep, absolutely true. Absolutely true. So we've got one fight left. I want to make a recommendation just coming up that we were going to be... We got a subscription box from Japan... I, I was going to pronounce it the same way you do. Japan, Japan Ramen. So they have this subscription I, box. For some reason, ramen. I want to say Japan Ramen. Like, I want, to, <laughs> I want to pronounce it like they're rhyming, and it totally screws up my pronunciation of the word Japan, uh, which I can yeah. normally do pretty right. good. So they, they offered to send us a box. We're going to be unboxing it soon. I love the idea of getting ramen. From Japan that's not available in Canada otherwise and I think they're delivering because of uh, the information we've seen about what's in this month's box and we're gonna be opening that soon and maybe making some of it and trying it yeah something about this channel makes you pronounce words poorly I'm normally <laughs> I'm normally a little bit better at it than I am in, on, in these videos all right and that's a fight actually that was really fast that was less than 20 minutes Wow so there we go this is normally when we do our sign-off uh, complete by ourselves, 
but because of the last word tier supporter, Alberto, it's uh, going to be a modified version. So, so the last word goes to our patron. Alberto Jr. Camarillo, here to address the masses. Komodo.